Greetings, Louvre Museum, Paris, France. Look at the hairstyle, look at the nose, but the lips is not that refined. And guess who this is? This is a stone with the names of the king and his wife, T. Which king are we talking about? Amenhotep the third, or Amenophis the third, you see? For those who might not believe what I say, this is the museum's inscription. I did not make it up. But that's not a big deal. Here, we have three statues of Amenhotep the third. Something happened towards the nose area. This is Amenhotep III. Look at this. Amenhotep III, 1300 BCE, 18th dynasty. We are not sure if it's made of diorite for the first one, and then we have granite for the others. And you have the three references for the three artifacts. Here are they. Here they are, I'm sorry. While I'm at it, we also have some statues of um, Seti I. See that? Seti the I, 1200 BCE. You have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one of the items has, has been taken away. But this is what you have remaining. No head on this one. And then, here they are. Here, we have Tutankhamun. See, Tutankhamun, 18th dynasty, 1300 BCE. And you have the reference on the top right corner. As a matter of fact, I told you here that you had um, Six artifacts. You have this one, this one, this one, that's three, four, number A, and five, number D, and then six. It starts from here. It starts there. And you have the one that's taken away. Two, three, four, five, six. And then you have Tutankhamun here. Right there, they're wondering if this is Nefertiti. They have to put a question mark. Something happened towards the nose area. And here is the description Nefertiti, question mark. 1300 BC, 18th dynasty, made out of uh, alabaster. And um, it's funny because that's what they've put there. And you have the reference. It says alabaster, but really this looks like alabaster. And here it says Amenhofis IV or Akhenaten. Amenhofis Amenhotep does the same thing. 1300 BC, 18th dynasty. Now, I suspect that probably this is them wondering if it is Nef um, Nefertiti, and this might be Akhenaten. This doesn't look like alabaster to me. Now, if it is, it is what it is. But that definitely looks like alabaster. I've shown you alabaster many times before. But you have the two references there and the two descriptions for the two artifacts. Okay? Now, on top of it, let me just stand up. Mm -hmm. You have Ramesses III, 1100 BC, 20th dynasty, and um, you have three references. That reference is for that artifact, and then you have this reference here, N656A and B. So N656A and B. Then you have Ramesses. This is Ramesses the third. I don't know if I made a mistake. This is Ramesses the third. This is Ramesses the fourth. Here he is. You know what's surprising is that usually they wear the crook and the frail, or maybe one of the two. 
But there, this looks like the Mary symbol. Mary or Mare symbol, you see? Actually, you have the name Ramesses here, or Ramesu. The sun disk, the solar disk, which stands for Ra. The next to it, you have the mess symbol. And you have the phonetic complement of the sound S. And finally, the uh, biliteral for the sound Su, transliterated SW. So that's the name Ramesu. And that alone lets us know that indeed, it is better pronounced, it is better to pronounce it Ramesu just because of that cartouche alone from the actual artifact. But, as you know, the Europeans, they pronounce it Ramesses. Ramesses. Well, in French we say Ramesses. In English we say Ramesses. And here you also have Ramesses the fourth. And finally you have some other people. So I will leave you with this one here.